This is not just about a tax on a can of sugary sweetened drinks. This is symbolic. It's about enough is enough. The chef who famously fought for healthier school dinners has now got sugar in his sights. It's the new evil, says Jamie Oliver, making us obese and costing the NHS billions. This afternoon, he was asked to give evidence to MPs at the Health Select Committee and didn't hold back. When you inform the British public with good, clear information, they generally make good choices. Um, they're not making good choices at the moment. And I, ju I just think that um, government in general over the last 30 years has done an incredible disservice to children, really, with regards to creating an environment where making a better choice um, is easy. Last month, the government rejected the chef's campaign to get a sugar tax introduced across the country, despite his petition gaining almost 150,000 signatures. In Brighton, they're trying to do it anyway. The council is writing to every restaurant in the city, asking them to charge a 10p tax on sugary drinks. The money would be used to educate children about the dangers of sugar. Japanese restaurant owner Carl was first on board. It's a healthy option, it's a, it's a healthy way of looking at, at drinks and the sugar that are in them. Um, some of us think it should be more, I think it should be 50p um, to have some impact and it goes to a great cause. But down the road another local business owner is worried. I try and keep the prices down as much as I can and adding an extra 10p will drive customers away I think. And that's why Jamie says any tax would need to be mandatory. He slammed the health secretary for refusing to release a big public health review of evidence on obesity. Yet more proof, he told MPs, that no one is taking the sugar risk seriously enough. Tessa Chapman, Five News.